where is it going with, with these robots and where is it going with robotic technology. Somehow I'm, well, really questioning whether the whole white plastic tiny human being replicas, whether they're going to be up to the task. My name is Edwin Dettin and I'm a teacher in the Interaction Technology Programme. I teach two courses, uh, one on social robot design and one on mastering tinkering. The course on social robot design is clustered around a central design project in which the students have to develop a social robot application for an external client. One of the projects students are working on is a robot librarian. We have an uh, example of a social robot dolphin, which should become a play pal to interest and entice people uh, with, with, with some anxieties as a kind of way of therapy. On the one side, you can do really complex things, making complete human simulacrums that, that really look like humans. And on the other hand, uh, we're easily persuaded by just a square with a smiley face. The course Mastering Tinkering explores the way that we could use tinkering as an approach, as a way of creative problem solving. There's much in academia which is focused and, and centered around theory and understanding the world around us in the abstract. We forget our hands and we forget so often how important it is to well give our hands something to do and learn to re-appreciate that we've explored the world around us through our hands, through making stuff, through doing these kind of discoveries. Also in this course students have to work on project cases, for example coming up with tinkering exercises that help spark creativity in companies or tinkering exercises that help in education of children on, well, robotics. At the heart I'm a maker. I really like making things and I really like this, this way of exploring the world around me by, by building stuff and finding out what it does and finding out what works and what not. I'm not too serious, I guess, and I'm really critical. I'm also really critical at the things that I make and build. I truly believe in what I do, but not uh, to the point that I also not rigorously want to, um, to, to probe and test and try out and question the things that I'm doing. It would be really, really awesome if I, through teaching, through research, could find a way of developing or designing a robot that in 30 years, when I actually would really need one, that I could live with. And that would take some doing because I'm really passionate and really critical. So a robot that could live up to my own benchmark would be, would be a very good one.